In today's video, I wanted to share a resource I have been using to improve my AI engineer skills, and that is the AI engineer pad course from Scrimba. After I got started on this course, I reached out to Scrimba, asked if they wanted to collab and create a great offer for you for this resource, and they said yes. So today I'm going to show you how I use this platform to learn and how you can too, so let's just get started. Before we dive deeper into the platform and the resources, let's just take a quick look at Scrimba as a company. They have been contributing to OpenAI's cookbook. I think that's just a great validation if you ask me. They also have been contributing to free camp, uh, freecodecamp.org with almost 9 million subs on YouTube. So again, another great validation. So I think we're just gonna move on and take a look at the platform and we're gonna focus on the AI engineer path. So as you can see here per now, they have nine courses on the category artificial intelligence and five of them are free. So that's just great to get started. Uh, but we are going to focus on this AI engineer path today. So basically, we're just going to take a look at what is inside. Uh, how did I use this? And yeah, how you can use this too. So I think we're just going to dive into this and look at their very interactive way of learning. So if we start with intro to AI engineering, we go to prompt engineering and a challenge. You can see we get this video here. So what we can do is just, yeah, let's have a quick listen to the video here now. In the last scrim, I mentioned prompt engineering, which is a phrase that you hear quite a lot these days, but what exactly does it mean? Well, prompt engineering is the art. So we get like an introduction to this and that sounds good. But what I really like about this, if we zoom a bit forward here, let's just go all the way to, yeah, like here. So let's have a listen here. We get, let's hit save and open up the console. Okay, so what you can do now is actually, we are kind of in the video mode now, but what I can do is I can just click here, and then I can start changing the code. I don't want to use GPT-4. Uh, I kind of want to use, you can see we kind of changed mode now. I want to use 3.5 Turbo 1106. Uh, what is quantum computing? I want to know what is the best way to learn AI, right? So you can see in the top right corner here, we have a button called run code. So I can just click that. And yeah, we got a response. We can also click on console. You can kind of see the response here. We can click run code again. And then we get the answer here in the console. So yeah, perfect. That is what I really enjoy about this. It's so easy to go from looking at the video. Okay, and we've got our answer. And just diving into the code here and start testing yourself. So we can go, yeah, this is, and I'm not so good at JavaScript, so I also learn a lot of JavaScript while I'm doing this. So yeah, this is what I kind of love about the Scrimba platform, right? So let's move on to another part. So we can just go up here, highlight the course. Let's look at learn embeddings and vector databases. So if we go into that, we can scroll down here. I wanted to create a embedding. So I'm just going to click on that. Let's move that a bit. Okay, so here we can kind of say, let's take it from the start here and listen to a bit of the video. In this course, we're going to focus on text embeddings, which are the most popular form of embeddings. They are used to represent individual words or phrases and capture their semantic meaning based on their context. The core idea is that a word, sentence, or even entire documents can be reduced to a vector. Now, as developers, it might be easier to think of a vector as an array of floating point numbers. that. Yeah, perfect. So if we go a bit forward here, you can see we can kind of create our embedding. So, okay. So we have the code here. We can just uh, go in here. And let's start changing. But before we do that, I wanted to show you, you can see we are using the OpenAI API here. So what we can do over here at Scrimba is actually we can just set our API key in the environment. So I just wanted to show you quickly how you can do that. So it's very easy. We just go to my profile here. We go to settings. We open a new window and they have something called update environment variables. And here you can see I have set my open AI key. So just put in your key name, value, uh, key name here and your value and just add it. And then you can start using it in all of these code snippets here. So very easy to set up. So you can use all kinds of APIs they have in the course and just slot it in and then you're ready to go. Okay, so let's say we wanted to create an embedding. I don't want to create Hello World. I want to try my own thing. So let's just grab a paragraph here. Let's copy that. Let's go back here. Let's paste it in. 
And yeah, basically we are ready to go. So when we hit run now behind my face, you can see down here in the console, yeah, we created a new embedding. So very easy to just adjust uh, the code snippets here the way you want it. That makes it much easier. Let's say you have to copy this, you have to paste it in your own uh, studio code to test stuff and just, it's just more interactive than just sitting and listening. You can be much more hands-on, right? And on top of that, we always get these good explanations from the video and the course leader, right? So this function runs all of the text inputs through OpenAI's embedding model, then returns a set of high-dimensional vectors for each. And in the console, you can see that it returns a list of five objects. Yeah, perfect. So let's move on to another part of the course and let's take a look at Langchain. So let's just navigate up here, build apps with Langchain, okay. So I just wanna start on number one here and let's have a quick listen. Welcome to this Scrimba course on using Langchain to build AI powered applications. I am super excited to bring you this course on using one of the most mind blowing technologies in the emerging AI universe. We're going to study embeddings We'll be working with vector stores. We'll be retrieving data from a vector store, and then we'll use the runnable sequence class, which is a really cool way to create complex chains in Langchain. And then there's loads more plus challenges. Yeah, so you can see here, he talked about challenges, and that's another thing I really like here. Uh, if we go to here, you can scroll down to challenge. So we have super challenge, super challenge, challenge solutions. So that is kind of good too. Let's take a look at this challenge here. Okay. Okay, it's time for a super challenge. We have studied everything we need to know to get this app to some kind of minimum viable product. Let's just quickly check out the flow diagram to remind us where we are. So we've basically done all of this and now we're going to be getting the answer using the nearest match and the user input. Yeah, so you can kind of see here, uh, this is very good because you can uh, kind of take everything you have learned so far and do it as a challenge. I really enjoy that because then you can kind of get some confirmation what I have learned, what I have not learned. You can always go back and like I said, we can always go into the code here, start up changing, testing. So it's very interactive and I really enjoy these challenges they have here. But if you go a bit further back here, you can see, let's check out super base setup. So kind of, if we are working with Langchain, we kind of want to set up like a vector database and you can do that for free here. There are a ton of potential vector stores that Langchain integrates with. And if you go to the Langchain docs and check out modules, retrieval, vector stores and integrations, you will see a whole long list of them. So here we kind of get an introduction of how you can set up Superbase and start using it too. And this slide is a link to superbase.com and let's select start your project. And there you can sign up with your email or GitHub. And once So yeah, it's very easy to get going with this. So I really enjoy that too. Let's take a look at one more module here. So let's go back up here. Let's pick open source AI models and let's just have a quick listen at the intro here. Welcome to this section where you are going to learn how to utilize open source AI models in your apps. But before we do that, let's have a look at what open source means in the world of AI. Now, I can't predict the future. I don't know if open source or closed source will end up as a clear winner here. And though not far behind are a bunch of open source models, which can solve many of the same problems in your app and which also has the added benefit of being open source meaning a huge reduction in price, less reliance on a third party, and just more control in general. Yeah, 100% agree with that. So let's take a quick look at the modules here. So if you go back here, and let's pick uh, intro to Hugging Face. Okay, let's have a quick listen here. On huggingface.co slash models, you can find the latest trending models in the world of AI, and also filter them by the type of task that they're meant to accomplish. Yeah, that's good. On this page, you can learn more about the model and see it in action with some examples. But what we're most interested in is the model name, which you can copy using this button right here. And then you can specify it as the model you want to use. So right now we have... Yeah, that's great. So you can kind of test out different models from Hugging Face and stuff. So yeah, interesting. Very interesting. So yeah, this is basically the resource I wanted to share with you. This is kind of the first time I really wanted to collab with another platform because I really enjoyed it myself. 
and they have these kind of up-to-date courses and I think they're going to keep updating as a lot of things change quickly in AI so they have to kind of do that and yeah if you want to try this out I have a link in the description below you can just follow that and sign up and yeah you can take a look at the different pricing and stuff and find what's most suitable for you also they have free courses so you can test them out but I really recommend this AI engineering path I learned a lot so yeah I hope you will too